Well, did it again. I went to the craft store unsupervised. And it just snowballed from there. <laughs> and welcome to Crochet Day by Day with me, Nadej, where I am taking you on my crochet adventures, mostly experiments, and I happen to be sharing some stories along the way. Today is another yarn haul, because I went a little crazy, um, but that's okay. I have a lot of plans, of course. And then, if you want to stick around, let's organize it a little bit. So, what do you say? First and foremost, I went to the craft store, I went to Joanne, and I went to go just like look at a few things, just get some ideas and create some new things, you know, blankets, garments, so on and so forth. And then my brain, my inventive brain, decided I needed to make all the things. So let me start with this box. Yes, I have probably... I don't know, a lot of yarn here. So I bought this Pipsqueak, Bernat Pipsqueak yarn. If you can see that, a little glaring there. And it's really soft, and I have been seeing like these like soft sweaters on Pinterest, which is where I get most of my ideas. So I bought a whole bunch to make a sweater, and I'm going to use this as a liner or not a liner but to join each panel arms and make ribbing sleeves cuffs things like that so that's my first one here this color and i will link all of this yarn down below if you want to get some of your own as well this is really soft obviously it's meant for blankets uh, baby blankets clearly um but doesn't have to just be for that so this color is called elephant gray you can find it on Joanne website, maybe even in the store, or even on Amazon. You can find these on Amazon. And then this one is also another Bernat yarn uh, for the lining. This color is called Beluga. And it's a really soft yarn as well. They're both polyester. And I just wanted to keep the fiber the same because, I, I mean, I just... Felt like that was appropriate so i'm going to be making a nice sweater out of this but later on when it starts to actually get cold right now it's hot i am sweltering then of course i was like i can't have just one of the one thing so i'm going to make another one with the same theme here the bernat pipsqueak this color is chocolate really pretty really soft and I'm going to line this one with the same type of other lining yarn Bernat uh, what is it bundle up and this color is called marshmallow really fun I'm really excited to do this I've been thinking about this for a long time I save so much stuff to my Pinterest that I just like get overwhelmed and excited and then I'm like need to buy all the yarn for all the projects with not all the time because you know I still have a day job I still I still work um anyway I guess I'm on a little bit of a Bernat kick here because I have some more Bernat yarn and this is just a large yarn let me get one with the right label Bernat blanket it's a like a chunky yarn really cool really pretty it's turning out pretty nice for a blanket that I'm making for my aunt and I'm going to make a border with just a gray, oh, a gray yarn. This is the color dark gray. Shocking, right? And then this one is called faded blues. Really pretty, really soft. This is another polyester yarn. These are just nice and soft. Like the touch is so nice and it will keep you very warm, very warm. Okay, now when I was being brave to film at Hobby Lobby, I did get a few random things that I want to try out. I got this unicorn thing. I want to try my hand at some amigurumi, and I figured I'd just give this a try. It was on sale for like eight bucks, I think, so I'm going to give it a go. I had to 
switch the battery out. So if I'm a little differently situated. But let's get into some of the other things that I got. This is ridiculous. I want to say I probably have 100 skeins of yarn that I just bought. Not just the ones that I already have. So I better put these to good use. But I also wanted to try my hand at making socks. So I just got this Loops and Threads Perfect Pair. This is a really fun color. It's called Atlantic City. And then I got this one also because I want to make socks for me and my fiance. But I've never done it before. And this, I don't remember what color this is because I took the tag off. The pattern's included, but it's knitting. And I don't know how to knit. I mean, I guess I could try, but do I want to start with socks? Like, is that a good place to start? I feel like a scarf is a better place to start. But I'll find I'll find some kind of crochet pattern. I even bought the needle or the hook for this specifically because I don't have a 3.25. So I bought one and now <laughs> I don't even know what to do, but we'll give it a try. Next, I did get these um, super fine spools here because for those of you that may not know, I am getting married in, well, next summer. And I wanted to just kind of like make my own decorations, so I found, I got the really small hook for it, so 1.5 millimeter, and I just wanted to kind of make some of my own decorations and not have to like pay for stuff that I'm, I'm just going to throw away. I'd rather like save it, keep it, use it for other things. And it's going to be just like some flowers, some daisies that are interconnected. I'll put a picture up here so you can see the idea in my head. We'll see how it works, but that's a rough idea. I want to just see if I can do that and if it's a task that I even really want to take on because that's a lot of work, but I'm excited about it anyway. I bought a ruler, a gauge ruler, because I feel like I needed it. Do I? Who's to say? We'll find out. Got some fun stitch markers and some pattern or uh, fabric. Just some camera, avocado, coffee cups. Because I wanted to make some really fun stuff coming up here. Of course, there's so much I have in my head. I don't know if we're going to get there. No, we are. No matter what, we shall persevere. Okay. And then I got these like big pounds of, it's called... Lion brand. So I'm, I bought a whole bunch of Lion brand yarn and this, I was like, let me just get this color because I'm obsessed with wanting to make sweaters and like basically my winter wardrobe for the year, I want to make myself. Put some time and investment into it and keep it as long as I can or gift it, whatever it might be. But anyway, I got this really pretty pound of love from Lion brand. The color is uh, Claret, or Claret, I think it's Claret, and it's this really, like, pretty wine color, kind of tweedish. I love it, and I'm going to make a shawl with this for a Halloween costume that I have an idea for. And I got another one of these. I already have one of these Pound of Love in Pumpkin Pie, and I really just want to make a long cardigan like a really long one like past the knee cardigan and I didn't think just the thousand yards was gonna cut it for me because of the size and the fit that I want so I got another one of these but I don't think I'm gonna go through both of them okay let's get into some of the more exciting yarns like I'm excited about all of these but these I am in love with okay this box so I got this skein tones from Lion Brand at Michael's and the color here is called Truffle and I want to make like a little more of like a crop cardigan out of this because I only grabbed six skeins and they're 185 yards each. So I'm actually really excited about that because it's such a pretty color. Look at it. It's so pretty. I can't wait. So I got also a bunch of, the rest of these are all Lion Brand Heartland yarn. Well, there's some others that I'll show you, but it is also Lion Brand. 
but this, I, I thought it was a different color online. It's hard to really tell sometimes. This one's called Mammoth Cave. This is just from their Heartland collection. And it's just a bunch of tweed yarn, basically. I started practicing some Tunisian crochet. This is just the Tunisian simple stitch. And it's a lot of fun. I'm going to be doing some sweaters here with Tunisian crochet here real soon. Then I got this other Heartland yarn. This one is called Badlands. And this has a winter sweater written all over it. Like, this is going to be a, a nice, beautiful wine tweed color. And I also, there's so much. Do you see all this? Do you see this? Let's get this. Okay, because there's a couple in here. Okay, this is a has a little bit of a other thing in here. So another Lion Brand Heartland. This color is called Sequoia. And it is beautiful. It's so hard to like really see the exact color here, but it's got like orange and brownish, like a rust orange and a brown. And this is going to be a, a sweater for sure. I'm like, I don't know exactly all the designs or stitches and things that I'm going to do with some of these. Some I have ideas for already, but sweaters, just sweaters, sweaters on sweaters on sweaters. <laughs> then, okay, so I got a pack of this jeans from Lion Brand. Well, more than that, obviously. I got like eight to ten skeins of each color so I can make large sweaters. This color is called stovetop and it's just supposed to mimic y your jeans you know how faded jeans acid wash jeans look and this I'm gonna make a sweater out of it I it's hard to see because it's so dark and I did like a Tunisian full stitch with that you can't really see did a Tunisian full stitch with it and it's hard like it's it's difficult but I shall persevere because that's what we're here to do okay now this one behind me has a bunch of other line brand Heartland as well this is my absolute favorite and I cannot wait to use it look at that color it's like chartreuse -y. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. I know what I'm doing with it. I'm using the Tunisian honeycomb stitch with this one. And this one is called Haleakala, I think. Again, I'm going to link all of this down below for you guys so you can take a look for yourself. See if you want to buy some. Definitely buy yarn on sale, guys. I mean, I've learned the hard way as well. But this one, oh. These are so soft too. I love it. I cannot wait to make a sweater out of this one. And just more yarn like this. I'm on a purple kick here. I don't know exactly why. Heartland, Line Brand Heartland. This one is called New River Gorge. Really pretty purple. It's really, really nice. I like it. And then I got another purple one. This is like a bright purple and black. I think it says navy on the website. But you can kind of see it there. And this one is called Hot Springs. The I'm so excited to make sweaters, guys. I am so excited. It's going to be fun. Because they kind of work up pretty quick. In what I've made so far, it kind of works out pretty quick. Maybe I shouldn't jump the gun on that one. But I am very excited about this. Also, I got these jeans, Line Brand jeans. Again, another jean color. This is called Top Stitch. I mean, that makes sense because, you know, if you look at your jeans, you generally have that stitch on them. That's like this color. It's just the stitching. It's not the color of the jean. But I really like this because I saw a pattern. I found a pattern. I'll pop it up right here. Well, not the pattern, but the sweater. And 
the pattern is for knitting. Again, I don't know how to knit right now. Probably something coming down the road. But I want to make this sweater, t-shirt sweater, and it actually has in the description of the picture what yarn to get. So I got what it required. And then kind of the stitches that you use. And I have been dabbling in some Tunisian crochet, and I realized that this pearl stitch, P-U-R-L, pearl stitch, is what it uses. And I was like, I could do that. So I'm going to be making a t-shirt sweater with these yarns, and then we'll see how it turns out. I'm excited. This one is called Vintage. So that'll be another video for sure, because I don't know what I'm doing exactly, but we're going to go for it. We're going to do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. I don't want to trim that. There. Okay. And then this is the last box. Again, Lion Brand yarn. And these are really pretty. So, Heartland <laughs> tweed, yet again. Are these all Heartland tweeds? No, these are just Heartland. Well, this is Heartland tweed. This color is called. Mount Rainier Tweed, and I have been eyeing this yarn for a while, and I finally was like, okay, I'm going to buy this, and I already have a sweater in mind for it. A giant, like, fall mesh sweater that you can wear to keep you warm, because, I mean, acrylic yarn is going to keep you warm. So I'm going to be making a sweater out of that. This is also another tweed. This one's just called Black Canyon Tweed. And I love it. I love like rainbow sprinkle type things. And this is exactly what I want for another sweater. I have an idea for this one. It's going to be like a lacy fall sweater too. And then I could not help myself because I saw someone else on another video talk about this yarn. They bought a skein at like Michael's or something. And it's the Lion Brand Woolies, which it works up really fast because it's a thick yarn. I believe it's a six bulky, meaning it just, it's bulky. It's bulky yarn. But it's really pretty and it's called Marsh. Yeah, Marsh. Come on. Try that back. There we go. And it's just so pretty. It's, you can't really tell what it looks like here. I mean, kind of, but it's just like marshy green, clearly. That's the name of it. And I just love it. I don't, I think I'm going to make just like an oversized off the shoulder sweater with it probably because that seems like the best thing to use it for. I don't know. <sighs> but that's what I have, guys. <laughs> this is a lot of yarn. Is this a problem? Do I now have a problem? I might have a problem. That's okay. So, now we have to organize all of this. Yeah, we gotta organize all of this. And if you wanna stick around, I'm sure this video is gonna be rather long, but I'm just gonna go ahead and organize and speed it up so we're not sitting here for 500 hours. Okay? All right, let's go.
Here it is. I definitely had to get creative because I wanted a lot of my yarn out, but I definitely had to put some stuff in the closet until I'm ready for it. And that's okay because that's for the winter time. So I ended up putting my cotton yarn away because it's kind of, I'm going to do like a shirt or two probably before it gets to be super fall weather. But there's some over there too, but I just don't feel like opening that one for you. Sorry. Um, yeah. Make some, some summer shirts still. It's going to be hot here for a while. And uh, then we'll start making some fall sweaters and winter sweaters. There's a bunch of plans for this stuff over here, which is exciting. hot but we did it we reorganized pulled out old yarn put in new yarn it's a lot of yarn it's not even all out here but that's okay anyway thank you so much for sticking around with me today while I show you all my yarn and show you how I reorganized it Everything looks a lot better, it's less cluttered, and all these boxes are out of here. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.